It's Monday, November 9th. Welcome aboard to this edition of Barnstable Today. I'm Kevin Friel. And I'm Lynn Gobiel. We'd like to remind you right at the top that the meetings we cover are available on demand at the town's website, www.town.barnstable.ma.us. We're uh, on a Monday, and last Thursday, the town council held its twice monthly meeting. Kevin, what happened? Uh, finance director Mark Milne had a good news, bad news scenario in regards to how the current 2009 budget is shaping up. Mark Milne said we should continue to be aware of how our state aid is coming forth. Governor Patrick has issued recently his uh, first round of 9C cuts and held local aid harmless. Um, good news for us in that Chapter 78 and on um, lottery aid was not impacted. However, there are a few programs that may impact us indirectly. Um, one of them was a $18 million reduction to regional transportation programs for regional school districts. Um, that may come around to us in a form of higher assessments from the Cape Cod Regional Technical High School. Uh, next year, this year, they'll probably have to cover that shortfall in revenue from their um, surplus account. Um, the circuit breaker funding for special education was reduced to several million dollars. Um, this is the funding source that reimburses local school districts for special education costs above and beyond um, approximately a $38,000 level uh, for any students that we have to place in uh, residential programs or outside of, that are outside of our school district. We get a 40% reimbursement um, for cost above $38,000. The funding for that program was reduced. Uh, so that could lead to a, a slight reduction in that program this year. Um, charter school reimbursements were, were slightly cut, $5 million across the Commonwealth. That could lead to a, a, a small revenue deficit there. And um, the sewer rate relief program, half a million dollars, um, was cut out of that program, which provided some minor rate relief. Um, so all in all, it was pretty good um, uh, for us this first round. However, I think it would be prudent for us to um, be cautious going forward for the remainder of the fiscal year. If you recall, this is what happened last year with the first round of 9C cuts. Um, the second round, which came towards the end of the fiscal year, um, impacted local aid. And um, looking at what is going on at the state level and what happened last year, um, it could be quite, quite likely that a similar scenario may play itself out. Um, this fiscal year, so we should be cautious going forward and uh, make sure that we have um, some contingency plans in place to cover any potential shortfalls in uh, revenue for revenue deficits from state aid and by the end of this fiscal year. Um, just a couple of quick notes on our, our general fund operating um, revenues. To date, through the first quarter ending September, all of our operating revenues in most categories are tracking uh, where they should. Um, we don't see, we don't recognize any deficits in any categories except for a couple. Uh, one I mentioned a couple of weeks ago, the hotel motel excise tax came in about $60,000 less in the first payment. Um, so that's about a 10% reduction from last year. Um, we'll get another payment in December, which is our largest one. We'll see, we'll, we'll know better where that revenue category is tracking at that time. Um, obviously, permit revenue is down as well with the reduction in uh, construction throughout the town, we're seeing less revenue in that category. Um, but all other categories are tracking where they should be through the first quarter um, in the general fund. On the expenditure side, all of our operating budgets are with where they should be at this point in time. Um, we have one area that is slightly above uh, where it was this time last year, and that's veterans benefits. Um, we have, uh, as our veterans agent was here earlier t this evening, um, he, he can tell you from history what every year we've seen an increase in that particular area. And so um, it looks like we're tracking a little high that year, th this year as well in that area. Um, on the enterprise fund side, we have one particular area of concern in the airport enterprise fund, and that's um, our jet fuel sales in that uh, operation are down about 80,000 gallons through the first quarter of the fiscal year, which it results in about a million dollar loss in revenue. 
The good news is that since they're not selling jet fuel, they're not buying it either. So most of that reduction in revenue has been offset by um, fewer fuel purchases at the airport. So the net impact to their bottom line is less than $100,000. However, that is a negative impact. And there, I've talked to the airport manager today. They're working on a plan to try to cover any um, reduction in that area with reducing costs in other items. Um, the golf course enterprise fund, of course, is, is tracking slightly lower than, than this year than it was last year. Um, they have about a $100,000 uh, drop in revenue for the first quarter compared to last year. Um, they have contingency plans in place. I spoke with them today. Um, they're looking at reducing seasonal staff. Uh, their utility bills and their fuel bills are down, uh, which is helping as well as their supplies. Um, the Solid Waste Enterprise Fund is down slightly this, this time of year through the first quarter, about $50,000, and that's a result of recycling revenues coming in less than where they were last year, and we're just not receiving as much money on recyclables um, than, we, than where, where we were last year. Um, so we're looking at areas of the budget that can be reduced there. All of our other enterprise funds are tracking where they should be. Um, and on the expenditure side in the enterprise funds, they're also all tracking where they should be at this time of year. So Thank you very much. Welcome. Town Manager. Yes, if Mark, you, you just hold on for a second. I'd like to make some comments about the budget policy uh, because as we look at the rest of this calendar year, we have one more meeting in November, a meeting in December, and then what is traditionally a kind of a ceremonial meeting and the second meeting in, in December. But we've got several uh, major items. We have the annual uh, uh, issue about tax classification. We're very mindful that we have new members of the um, council coming aboard at the, at the next meeting. Uh, so we are proposing that we uh, put that whole issue on for first reading, not for action, uh, and hope that we can have a workshop. I know for most of you it's, it's kind of second nature, but we are very mindful uh, that the newer folks coming on, that this is a complicated issue and there might be a need uh, not only to have kind of a workshop at the next meeting, but to make ourselves available thereafter. Uh, so that uh, if they want to get together with staff, that they, they can be prepared for what, as all you know, is a very important vote, uh, the um, first week of uh, the first meeting in December, I guess. Uh, the other issue is, is that we passed out, when we had a joint meeting with the school committee, we passed out a draft budget policy. And our goal in doing that, we've done it, we, we had that joint meeting as early as it's ever been because we know this is going to be a very complex financial year and, and we really can't start without some fundamentals that are included in the budget policy. So I hope you've had an opportunity to review the draft. Uh, there are items such as whether we're going to stay within Proposition 2.5, you know, at what level we're going to go forward in terms of our reserves, uh, what the traditional uh, revenue split will be with the, uh, with the uh, schools, uh, what our commitment's going to be to our capital uh, projects uh, and the like. The next meeting of the Barnesville Town Council will be on November 19th. Now let's take a look at the meeting schedule for this week of Monday, November 9th through Friday, November 13th. For Monday, November 9th at 7 o'clock, the planning board has a hearing in the town hall hearing room. At 7.30, the Sandy Neck Board has a meeting in the Selectman's Conference Room. On Tuesday, November 10th, at 8 o'clock in the morning, the Barnstable Economic Development Commission has a meeting in the Selectman's Conference Room. Also on Tuesday morning at 8.30, the Conservation Commission has a hearing in the Town Hall Hearing Room. At 4 o'clock on Tuesday, November 10th, the Board of Health has a meeting in the Town Hall Hearing Room, followed by Coastal Resources in the Selectman's Conference Room at 5.00. Then at 7 o'clock, Old Kings Highway has a meeting on Route 149 in West Barnstable. There are no meetings for Wednesday, November 11th because of the Veterans Day holiday. For Thursday, November 12th at 9 o'clock in the morning, Site Plan Review has a meeting in the Town Hall Hearing Room. And on Friday, November 13th, there are no meetings. Thank you for joining us on this edition of Barnstable Today. I'm Kevin Friel. And I'm Len Gobiel.